Hello guys, Art Thieves here. This video is a sped up overview of my pipeline for modeling a stylized creepy pumpkin in 3ds Max. Let's get started. I start off by forming the initial shape of the pumpkin by using the F of D modifier. I also give it a slight twist. You may also want to apply some noise at this point, or later on, after we use Tuba Smooth modifier. Then I create internal elements of the pumpkin. Not sure how to call them. I've used the same approach in my previous videos for modeling some oneric flowers. Make sure to not overextend with the amount of edges here, since we want to apply Tuba Smooth modifier eventually. I apply the shell modifier, move some vertices and then turbo smooth this element. Remember to clear out some unwanted geometry. Make sure to keep your geometry thick enough to preserve the overall stylized look. I align this element's pivot point to my pumpkin and duplicate it, rotating each copy by 72 degrees. Also I break symmetry by modifying the size and height of these elements. I create the central piece by using Taper, Twist, Scale Tool and Tuba Smooth modifier. Make sure to rotate it a little bit to avoid creating some 90 degrees angles. I modify the bottom part to make use of various substance painter granges later on. This way we get rid of an unwanted polar structure. I make those side fangs, legs, blades or whatever they are by using splines. I set some vertices to smooth and some other vertices to corner. Then I apply loft modifier and play around with its curve. In order to do it, I change the scale curve in loft settings. Make sure to remove some unwanted geometry. Also, I emphasize some hard edges by applying a slight chamfer to them. The final stage of my modeling pipeline revolves around detaching all intersecting parts, blending them all together, fixing some topology and attaching them back. Make sure to check your model for overlapping or isolated vertices or angles. Setting your smoothing groups correctly makes unwrapping a lot easier. Basically, you use flatten by smoothing groups option and then simply break some cylinders into some relatively straight lines. Remember to place your seams on those edges where the model's curves are at a fairly sharp angle. When you unwrap such plates, make sure that your seam stays on their inner side, so that it is barely visible to the viewer. Remember to rescale your UVs. In this case, I want my pumpkin's blades to be as highly detailed as possible, so I increase the size of corresponding UV chunks greatly. Then I simply fill all gaps on my UV map to utilize it as much as possible. My key discovery here is a grunge map that gives our pumpkin a creepy natural look without any sculpting. I could have unwrapped the pumpkin in a different way here to make those lines more straight, but I think that the final version of my model looks just fine. You can apply this map to your paint layer or to its height also, you can change the rotation of this layer. The rest is done by using some preset filters, including sand cavities, dirt cavities, ground dirt and moss from top. Remember that for texturing some natural objects, playing with roughness can sometimes cause a much greater effect than working with the color itself. I use a layer with its blending options set to pass through, 
and the stamp tool to conceal all seams. Make sure to paint not only on a color layer, but also on the roughness, metalness, normals and height layers if you have them. Thanks for watching guys! If you like the content I make, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more stylized videos. And most importantly, have a great day!